Welcome golfers to the Sportsbox 3D Golf app. My name is Ryan Crawley and I'm going to run you through how to sign up for the app today and what to expect once you get started. First thing it's going to ask when you go ahead and download the app and try to sign up is do you have an account or do you need to create an account? It'll then ask are you a golfer or are you a coach? And then it'll give you some background information on what to expect when using Sportsbox. It'll ask some questions, and there are some really important questions to make sure that you answer here. Now, you can see it'll ask things like how old you are, your average score. The things that are important is your gender, are you right or left-handed, and then your height. This will ensure that we're giving you good 3D data. If you put in the wrong gender, wrong height, or if you put in the wrong dexterity, that will throw off your numbers. From there, It'll then say continue with email. You could also sign up with your Google account or you can sign in with Apple if you'd like to. You'll just go ahead, put in whichever email that you're looking to use here. And then you'll just put in your first and last name. And then you can create a password. From here, it'll send you a confirmation link. And then you'll be able to follow this link to verify your email address. Go back to the app, agree to the terms and policies, and then from there, you're gonna to wanna to turn on your notifications, and then it'll, once again, bring you through some prompts. Now, the first thing that it wants to do is it wants to record some of your swings. So if you are at the range or at a place where you can take a swing, please do so because we are going to go ahead and analyze your swing and give you some guidance on how we can help your game. If you're not in the place to be able to record your swing yet, then just go ahead. You can explore without a goal now. Since I'm not in a place to swing a club right now, I chose Explore the App, and then it's going to give you some information on our player accounts. If you're looking to be able to get real-time feedback on the range whenever you like, then you're going to want to sign up for this 3D player account. Here, it'll basically tell you the difference between the free account and the player account. Like I said, if you want that unlimited access to being able to record yourself and see how you're doing against your goals, sign up for that 3D player. When you decide to sign up for the 3D player account, you can pay for it monthly or you could sign up for it annually. Once you've chosen which plan that you'd like to start with, you can go ahead and start exploring. Here, it's going to bring me to the home page. And the first thing that you're going to notice, it says get a goal. Down at the bottom, there's going to be a few other tabs for you. So you'll see a practice tab and you'll also be able to track your activity in the activity tab. Now, on the home page here, if I just scroll down, it's going to ask if you have a coach. Or if you're looking for a coach, you can go ahead and find a 3D Pro. And then underneath that, you're going to see this really cool LA Golf Fit Yourself experience. What you can do with this Fit Yourself experience is you can go ahead and record a few swings, and it'll then tell you which LA Golf shaft best fits your swing. All the way down at the bottom here, you'll see the Discover Drills, which will give you some great content in order to be able to improve your game. In the upper right-hand corner, you'll see a little message bubble where you can message back and forth with a coach if you have one. And you can also see notifications between you and your coach if you have one. There's also a settings area that you can go into if you need to update anything, like updating to the metric system. Or if you need to update your body measurements, you can do so here. Down at the bottom, when I go to the practice area, you'll notice it'll say get a recommendation. So if you do not have a coach and that coach is yet to assign you a goal, then we can help with that process. By hitting get a recommendation, the AI will analyze your swing and point you in the right direction. Let's go through what that experience looks like. Move. All set. Three, two, one, go. Swing was detected.
we recognize in your swing that you're scooping the ball at impact. This is causing you to lose distance. Scooping the ball is when the grip of the club is behind the ball when making contact. It is the opposite of forward shaft lean that we see so many pros have when they hit the ball. We will use the shaft angle face on at impact to measure a positive number at impact indicates you are scooping. Don't forget, check out those recommended drill videos and practice against that goal range in order to make sure you're making progress. Sorry, all set. Three, two, one, go. Swing was detected. After your practice session, on the home page, you can click View Progress and see how you did against that goal. In this example, you can see how I'm 100% for my progress score. If I click View Progress, I can then get a little bit more information, like seeing this graph here. You can look at it on different timetables as well. Since this is a new one, it's just going to look the same for each of the graphs. Down at the bottom, you'll see key measurements, and we can see my last 10 shots and how I fared against that goal range. If I tap on the little arrow there, you'll be able to see another graph with some additional information here as well. In the bottom right-hand corner, if I click on activity, here is where I'll be able to review my swings. If your coach has given you any swings, you will also see them here under the activity tab. You can comment, like, and provide additional information to each of these sessions here. And if you'd like to save a swing, maybe you have a swing that was really, really good, you can tap on this little banner icon in the bottom right-hand corner of a session, and that will save that swing for us to find quickly in the future. In the upper right-hand corner, you will see that same banner. If I tap on that banner now, notice how it has my save swing here. So again, a great organizational tool for us to be able to find the good swings that we're looking for or maybe a bad swing and you want to be able to see here is what it looks like when I'm not executing it how I should. We do have a filtering option in the upper right hand corner as well. So if you tap on that filter, you can then filter based on different activity type. I can hit create post. This will allow me to type up some notes to myself or my coach if I choose so. And I could type up some notes to a session by clicking the three dots. And you'll see that there's this edit post. And then I could put in some notes. In the upper right-hand corner, you'll see a few different options. You'll see this little bubble. This will bring us to the inbox where I could start a conversation with my coach if I have one. The middle icon in the upper right-hand corner, that little bell, that's going to be our notifications area. And then to the right of that, you can see the settings icon. So there you have it. You're ready for the Sportsbox 3D Golf app. This tool is incredible for giving you feedback right in the moment, letting you know if you're doing it right or wrong. We have provided you with some help if you do not have a coach, and you can get that recommendation to see what is it in your swing that just isn't stacking up. From there, once your coach or ourselves has given you a goal, you'll be able to start practicing against that goal and tracking your progress. It'll be here on the home page. It's also down on the practice page. And feel free, click on view progress and see how you're doing. On the practice page, you'll be able to see these discovered drills. 
which are going to be good fits based on the goal that you have created. And if you want to be able to look at your activity and look back at some of these sessions, you just go to the activity portion and find whichever swing you'd like to look at and analyze. So go ahead, get yourself a recommendation or have your coach create a goal for you. And if you haven't done it yet, go ahead, try out that LA Golf Fit Yourself experience.